Hey there, so I'm coming to you with day three of my 30 days of React challenge. Um, the app I've created today is a simple kind of color picker app. So what happens is when you click on a color dot, it changes color um, and shows the RGB um, color code along with it. Um, you have to excuse me today. I'm super, super tired. My explanation might be really bad. Um, I flew last night from Singapore to London, which is a 14 hour flight and slept terribly. So I'm a bit, woo. Um, and I'm coming to you from my sister's bedroom in London. Um, okay, so I guess let's take a look at the app. All right, so first I'll do a little demo. As you can see, I've got the normal header and then a little dot underneath, which is a color with the corresponding um, RGB color code. Um, I guess I decided to try and make this app because yesterday I was playing around with like some color scheme generators and thought, hmm, maybe I can make a basic version of that. Um, but here's the demo. So each time you click on the circle, it changes color randomly and gives you the uh, um, equivalent RGB color, which can also be um, copy pasted. Here we go. So I'll flick through a few new cut through colors until we find one that doesn't kill my eyes and looks nice with the purple. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that's fine. I like pink. Um, so how this works? First of all, I will just kind of go over my app.js um, file and then switch to the component file. Um, I guess this project interested me because I wanted to try playing around with manipulating CSS properties since um, con uh, so far we've only done kind of the content of like text content. So this was something kind of new. Um, it's still pretty simple, although it does have another um, kind of another function in it. But anyway, we'll talk over that. First of all, let's start with state, which is here. Um, state has three, we have three state properties, color one, color two, color three, which just correspond with um, these three numbers here. So if we reset the app, you can see it reflects these. So they're kind of like the starting colors we use to create that first, um, that first colored circle. Uh, what we have here is a fun uh, a, 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 a extra function which I've called color creator um, and what that does uh, uh, when run is produce a random number um, whole number between 1 and 250 so I'll show how that works later but that's to kind of generate these numbers um, what, yeah to create our uh, randomly generated number. Um, we also have our content handler, uh, sorry, our, our event handler here, um, which sets our state as with the last two projects I've done. Though you'll notice this time, um, each time this function is called, like pr like in previous couple of projects, we kind of switch state to s like another other state property or, but in this case, each time we set the state, I'm actually calling this color creator function. So each color is then assigned a random number. So that's how that kind of whole, that's how we get that, like, so each time this will be randomized basically. Um, and down here we have our render block, uh, again, just the same header I've been using. And then we just have one instance of our color component over here. Um, which is this section here, um, and that passes a couple of um, properties with it, props, it uh, passes a reference to our um, event handler here, and it also passes um, the current value of all of our state properties, and also pushes them to string, and I'll show how we use them in the um, color.js component now, and just one instance of this as well. Okay, so here's our um, component. Um, first of all, let's look at this line. As you saw on app.js, I stringified those components, those, sorry, those um, base properties, and that's so I can then combine them here 
as a new um, a new value, which I've called new color. Um, so what that does basically is takes everything in the quotation marks. Well, I, I'm creating a string. Everything in the quotation marks I kind of fix to. It's called interpolation. So interpolate with the three properties as pass through. Um, so that's what that looks like. So that's just what's being output. And what I've done is then called that new color. We have our styling here, which, um, so it's first we have output styling, which relates to this actual text here. And we also have uh, my div styling, which relates to this um, circle here. You'll see I've made it, um, a, you know, a fixed width and made it circle with border radius. So what I'm actually doing is passing new color into here so that the background color will be this new color value here. In the other place we use this new color value is down here in our H1. So we all, as, lo, as well as changing our um, background color of the circle, we're also changing just the physical text to show that interpolated new color. Um, down here, of course, we also have our props.click, and it's an on click, meaning that um, it's activated when we click this div. So I could have done, you know, on hover or some other on click event, but I just thought on click is nice and simple. Um, cool. So that's basically it. Um, this was quite a fun one. I, as soon as I'd done this, I initially, I instantly wanted to create lots of dots um, and create an array up here so that we could have, you know, four dots. So you could play around with mixing all the colors up and finding combinations. But uh, in order to explain it, I thought I needed to keep it simple. Um, but yeah, that's that. Oh, and in terms of um, like best, use like how i'm coming up with these projects to create is basically just waking up in the morning and thinking hmm, what would i like to create um so sometimes i'm not entirely sure if i'm doing things best practice so i mean if anyone is watching this and they have any suggestions or anything like that and how i could refract my code and make it better then i would love to hear them but yeah for now it is what it is cool thank you